Things are about to shake, rattle, and roll. Yeah. Trust me. Now I'm going to mention three words in seven minutes, and you're going to pay really close attention because I'm going to go really fast. <laughs> three words in the first few verses of Joshua that hide, sort of have a dual meaning. You, know, you understand that because Hank in his prophetic gifting, well, I've heard him do that. He'll throw a word out. He did it today, but it has a dual meaning. Like the fall. So the prophets do that. So that's happening in Joshua. And then and there's three words that let us know that what God's about to do, we're going to have to play a role. So he says, in three days you're going to cross into this land that I'm giving you. And every place on what the sole of your foot treads, I've given it to you. Treads is Darak. Darak is a word that does not mean just stroll in and everywhere you put your foot, it's yours. That's what we, we tend to think. We know we go claim a piece of property, walk on it, pray, and I've done that too. But that's, that's really only half of this word because it's a warfare term. It was the word for bending a bow. Still today, it's the word in Israel for when the commander, the commanding officer says, we're about to go into battle, load your guns, he shouts, Darak, load your weapon. That's powerful. What God was saying was, every place you're willing to walk in and get your bow out, take your sword, if you're willing to take it, I'm giving it. Is he giving or are we taking the answer is yes, right? Yeah. Now, if we're not willing to take the sword of the Spirit, spiritual war, I'm not talking about hurting people. You have to say that nowadays because stupid people out there, I'm trying to, you know, do. Talk about spiritual war, spiritual battle. So we have to take the weapons, spiritual weapons we have. And if we're, if we're willing to do that, he says, I'm, I'm gonna, you're going to win. I'm going to give it to you. Every place to sow your foot treads, I've given to you. Give us the word Nathan, Nathan. It's spelled just like the word, the name, Nathan. Does it just mean give in the sense of ownership? It means give in the sense of an assignment. Psalm 115, 16, the heavens are the heavens of the Lord. The heavens belong to Him, but the earth He has given to the sons of men. Well, God never gave away the earth. Still his, the full, in the fullness thereof, he still owns it. He gave stewardship, authority, responsibility. So, heavens are the heavens of the Lord, but the earth he has, literal Hebrew translations will say, the earth he has assigned to the sons of Adam. God's gifts are God's assignments. Like your kids. Their gift. They're an assignment. So we say, I'm giving you this, but it's also your assignment. I will say this, America, church in America, we're blessed. You don't have to, if you're, you know, we just are. You travel to other parts of the world and you flip the news on, you realize. How incredibly blessed we are. But these blessings are a responsibility. This incredible blessing of being a part of a nation raised up to trumpet the gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. That's why he raised up this, this nation. What an incredible privilege and blessing. But it is a responsibility. 
And we must war in this season with our spiritual weapons. We must war for God's purpose to be fulfilled. When we get word like we got this morning and I read to you, we need to, we need to pray more. We need to get up every morning saying, where do you want me to speak, decree, buy? what do you want me to do today? I'm in. Because I, he, says, I, he said, I'm giving you this land yes. to possess it. He said the same thing to Abraham. Yaresh. Legally an heir. This is what the word means. Legally an heir. Military invasion for the purpose of seizing and settling in the land. I'm giving it, as far as I'm concerned, this is God talking, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, it's yours. Amen. I've already said it. I settled it a long time ago. Your great, 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 great granddaddy, 450 years ago. As far as I'm concerned, Josh, it's yours. Now you get your sword. You get your spear, you get your bow, and you go take it. And if you'll do that, I guarantee victory. So for us, and I'm going to say this and pray, for us, and this is what I, I feel the prophetic company is finally beginning to understand. When God gives a word, it's not just to encourage us. It's also to become something that shows us how to pray and or act. It involves strategy, not just encouragement. It's going to rain, Elijah. Oh, okay, I better get up on the mountain and travail. I can't just sit back and let it happen because he says it's going to happen. I know how he works. He needs a human here to, to ask and birth and partner with him. So if he said it, I need, I need to get busy here. Daniel, it's time to restore the nation. Oh, okay, I better fast and pray. So when God brings these promises, he's saying, I'm giving. Anybody willing to take it? So, Lord, we say in this house today, and we say, those of us watching, those watching us, we are a company. We are a Joshua company. We are Hebrews. We believe the word of the Lord. We believe the purposes of God will be established, are being established. We believe he can do everything he said he could do. We believe he's coming after that spirit. We believe the kingpin is going to be taken down. We believe America is going to be recircuited. We see the greatest harvest in the history of the planet is beginning now. We say the zeal of the, of the loving Jesus, the Savior of the world who loves them so much is coming to, to rescue millions, billions of people around the world. And his father promised him these nations as his inheritance. And though the rulers of this age take counsel together and do Psalm 2, saying he will not rule over us. He who sits in the heavens laughs and says, I have, this is my son, I've already given it to him. So we align ourselves with your word and we, we just say, Lord, we're, we're going to do what you've taught us. We're going to strike. We're going to love people, but we're going to shift the atmosphere and we're going to break evil plans 
and we're going to pull down strongholds. And even as we see the time get closer and closer and closer, we're going to say what you say more and more. Our confession, saying what you say, decreeing what you have decreed, declaring what you have declared. Reset is coming. Restoration is coming. Reform is coming. Recircuit is coming. Revival is coming.